This is sacred ground where people, more than a thousand men, women, and children lost their lives. We need to put a stop to all trips to the Titanic. This is what we did when the uh, shuttle Challenger exploded. We shut down the entire US space program. We need to do at least that now. Whether we find the vessel and, and determine what went wrong with this vessel, we need to stop, pause, take a deep breath, and ask people this question. Why do you want to go to the Titanic, and how do you get there safely? And I remember one of the things that hit me like a sledgehammer when I was down at the bow. We had a moment of prayer for these people. And then as you tour the bow, there's a little plaque right where the captain used to be, and it's in memory of the children who lost their lives in this wreck. This is not a looky loo This is not a touristy thing. This is a serious site that needs to be treated with respect. My initial thoughts were that you know, there was quite likely a, one, a catastrophic implosion of this pressure vessel. You know, we held out hope and we were hearing reports of noises being heard and you know, lots of you know, speculation and I guess hope that we would have a, a good outcome, but, but it looks tragically like that has not been what's occurred in this case. In a submersible, you're in a sort of large cylinder, you're looking out of a relatively small porthole. You know, there's questions about how much intrinsic value there is in that. When we can instrument robotic platforms with cameras and other sensors to really help us understand these environments. But I suspect we will continue to see this, this sort of um, industry grow. There may be calls for more regulation, better understanding of how these sorts of vehicles are designed, built, and certified for use in these, these uh, deep sea environments. It appears that extensive testing was not undertaken prior to deploying the submersible. So getting these sort of large pressure vessels tested is, is you know, requires quite unique facilities. And it does appear that they may have um, not undertaken some of the thorough um, testing, thorough and independent testing that one might have uh, expected or, or wanted to see. I think the Titanic in itself is an iconic, um, you know, site, and there's there's a huge amount of interest in in that, given given the nature of the tragedy that occurred um, when the Titanic did, did sink. There has been a lot of discussion in, in the community about you know some of the ethics of going down and and using this as a, a tourist destination, um, and yeah, there is a question about you know why this particular event. I think the fascination with the deep sea. You know, this is a relatively new field with, uh, you know, a relatively short history of trying to uh, cater to that deep sea tourism industry. And, you know, this is the first tragedy of its nature. Mm -hmm.